Yeah, I think we're confident. Um, we're excited. We're trying to do, you know, some new things this year. Like every program is, you know, you have to evolve and, and continue to grow when we're trying to do that to, to help make us uh, just one step better. Yeah, I mean, it's such a tough league. Um, it's easy to say you're looking out for Minnesota State because they've, you know, won the league the last few years. But there are so many teams in our league that can, that are good, that can beat you. Uh, you know, we're the strongest league in the region, and, and it shows up and down. You can't just say you're looking out for one team. Uh, you're looking out for everyone. It's a dogfight every weekend. It's nice that we, uh, we didn't graduate any midfielders last year, so really that whole core is coming back for what will now be the nucleus of them for three years uh, together, and we added some of our incoming players, our midfielders as well. So we really uh, expect to have a lot of maturity and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of dominance there in our midfield group. They're they're very weathered, very seasoned. They've played a ton of minutes for us in their previous seasons. They're a very cohesive group, uh, and I think if you had to pick one line to be extremely cohesive, it would certainly be your midfielders. And so we're really excited to see as they continue to grow for another year together. Uh, how good they could possibly be this year. We we're, we're excited about our freshman class and uh, we're excited to see they, they've had a good start to the preseason so far and they, they came in ready to go, came in fit. And so we're excited to see what they're gonna do on the field. They bring a lot of energy and a lot of excitement uh, into the game for us. Yeah, we've got six seniors returning back to the team and we're really excited about them. All of them have been uh, pretty substantial players for us in the past. They've logged in a ton of minutes as a group and individually. So we're really excited from uh, Maddie Edwards, obviously, who's, who's probably the most decorated senior that we have right now, uh, returning all region center mid for us. She's, she's excellent, uh, is a big part of our offense. To Caitlin Emanuel uh, in the net for us, uh, returning. Uh, she's been our starter the last two years and uh, had an all-conference performance last year, so we're looking for her to improve upon that. To players like uh, Savannah Shento, who will play a new role for us uh, as an attacking player, and she did very well there this spring, and we're looking for big things out of her this year. Uh, another midfielder, Nicole Poyer, who's just been steady for us and been a, been a good mainstay. Uh, excellent uh, distributor of the ball, and we're looking for big things out of her going into her senior year. To Trina Gallagher and Brenna Gray, uh, both players who have started for us in the wide back position, and looking for them to have nice, solid senior years to finish out their career. It's a group that's, that's done a lot here. They've had a lot of success at Upper Iowa, and we look for them to continue with that and provide a solid foundation for the future.